Welcome back to the Civic Sci TV Newsroom. I'm your host, Jake Krause, reporting to you from Colorado on the latest civic science news and research, now with a focus on the environment. The UN Biodiversity Conference COP16 in Colombia aimed to advance global conservation, but ended without resolving key financial issues. A major achievement was creating a permanent body to include indigenous voices in decision-making and launching the Kali Fund to share benefits from genetic resources. However, disagreements over funding led to stalled negotiations, postponing it until 2025. In a follow-up session in Rome, delegates committed in mobilizing $200 billion annually for biodiversity by 2030 but financial challenges remain. While progress was made, the lack of consensus on funding highlights ongoing struggles in global conservation efforts. The Pulitzer Center's StoryReach U.S. fellowships offer a 12-month part-time program providing up to $30,000 in funding for journalists to pursue in-depth reporting projects, coupled with innovative audience engagement strategies. The fellowship emphasizes topics such as health, marine fisheries, human rights, and climate-related labor issues. Fellows receive support through monthly virtual meetings, peer collaboration, and access to data and research resources. The program aims to enhance the reach and impact of underreported stories across the U.S. Applications are due May 1st. At the 2024 European Meteorological Society annual meeting, a workshop was held to help climate scientists enhance their communication skills. Experts from neuroscience, communication, activism, and journalism shared strategies to raise awareness of the climate crisis. Key takeaways include the importance of dialogue to recognize expertise and perspectives of the audience, understanding cognitive biases and cognitive dissonance, and crafting compelling research-based narratives and collaborating with communication professionals. These insights aim to empower climate scientists to engage the public more effectively and drive meaningful action. Thanks so much for watching this week's Civic Science News Roundup. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news and opportunities in civic science. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.